Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com with another tool review. Today I'm talking about the Milwaukee M12 cordless screwdriver, which is this right here. Um, this was not sent to me by Milwaukee. This was actually sent to me by my uncle who uh, found out that I had started to get into woodworking and uh, did something really awesome and sent me this. Um, when it comes to power tools and, and certain other tools, I usually like to do two different reviews. The first review is going to be my initial thoughts, what's included in the packaging, um, the fit, the feel of it, and how initially, I, obviously, I think it, it, it'll work for me. The second review is probably going to be the more important review, and that's going to come in after I've been able to test drive whatever tool we're talking about for a little while. Um, this is actually the first Milwaukee power tool I think I've ever owned. Generally, I am a... Uh, DeWalt guy or a Makita guy when it comes to um, small handheld power tools. I'm actually really a Makita guy and uh, you can see right here this is what probably the most used tool in my toolbox but we're not talking about Makita today so I'm going to set that back down. Anyway this is the M12 cordless screwdriver. Uh, it does come with a charger, the charger and two batteries One's installed in the gun, one extra one. Um, two batteries when it comes to power tools for me is very, very important. Um, quarter inch drive chuck. It actually did come with, looks like it comes with one bit. Uh, stuff like that, I don't generally use the one that it comes with. I have a whole set of my own that I prefer. I'm looking for one right now so I can test drive that. Here we go. So, kind of a quick release setup like that. Um, it's also got an adjustable clutch, so you can rotate it down to very little power all the way up to a drill setting like that. Um, in my hand, oops, sorry about that. In my hand, it feels really good. Um, I actually pull the trigger with my middle finger on most things. Uh, there's a, a funny story behind that that I'll save for another time. Um, so it, it feels good in my hand. It's not too big, it doesn't hang out too big down the bottom of my hand. Um, I can easily access the forward and reverse button with my thumb and my pointer finger. That's no problem. The trigger feels good. You can vary the speed. And the more I pull the trigger, obviously, the faster it's gonna go. And that's full speed right there. It also has a little battery indicator on the side. LED on the front, which is nice and bright. So overall, I think this is going to be a really good tool. Um, I haven't tested the torque or how much power it actually has yet. I'll wind up doing that. I'm going to bring it into the shop probably Monday and uh, put it through its paces. A gun this size, what I really, really like to use these for is interior work. Um, it's small, it's light. When I'm using it only on the interior of a vehicle, um, it tends to stay cleaner. I, that Makita that I just pulled up and showed you guys gets the heck beat out of it. And the last thing I want to do is be working on a brand new car with a light tan interior and have a dirty impact <laughs> or, uh, or screw gun that I'm, that I'm using on it. So my initial thoughts, I don't know, you know, I'm not like a one out of 10 kind of scale kind of guy, but, um, I'm excited to give it a try. I think it's going to work out really well for me. I'll probably put it on a few fasteners that I don't think it will take off just to see how it handles it. I don't think you're going to be taking wheels off with this. Um, I don't think you're going to be loosening transmission bolts or heavy, <laughs> heavy suspension stuff like that. But interior work, trim panels, engine covers, um, stuff like that, I think it's going to be fantastic. Around the house, I think it's going to be awesome. Um, depending on how this goes, I may actually pick another one up for my wife just so she has a power tool around the house to use. So anyway, those are my initial thoughts on the Milwaukee M12 screw gun. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments below. If you're watching this on the blog, subscribe to the blog and you can post comments. You can actually post comments either way, but I'd love to have you subscribe. If you're watching it on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll have a ton more tool reviews coming soon. This is kind of a, a kickstart of a, a mass push of tool reviews that I'm doing. 
let's put it this way. I own in the neighborhood of $15,000 worth of tools at the shop. So um, I have a lot of experience with tools, buying tools. Some people call me a tool. Um, so I think we can, uh, we can do, do a lot of cool things and talking about tools. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.